Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I want to go ahead and do a video devotional here with you and hopefully get our day started off right. Matter of fact, since this one's showing up on Monday, get our whole week started off right. And let's take a look at this idea uh, of who God is, how everything he does is good, is true, and is just. Okay? So God himself tells us this. And, and being God, I'm inclined to take his word for it. So let's take a look. It's in Isaiah chapter 45, and going to be starting up in verse 18, at the very last part of that. It says, I am the Lord, he says, and there is no other. I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper obscurities in some dark corner. I would not have told the people of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. I, the Lord, speak only what is true and declare only what is right. So everything God says is true. Everything he, he declares is right. Every single decision he makes is just. That's what it is. Matter of fact, even though in the English language, the words righteous and justice are, are two different words, you look in Hebrew and in Greek, which is the language that the Bible was written in, the language is, they're pretty much the same root words. Yeah, there's different suffixes and all that fun stuff. But the point is that they're based on the same idea. That what you've said is true and that it's just. Okay? It's the same idea. And so God's telling us right there, everything he says is true and just. Every decision he makes, every judgment he renders is true and just. Okay? And he doesn't, he's not the only one to say it because that we have generations of followers that have gone before us who believe the same things. Matter of fact, let's take a look at one of the big ones, Moses. Moses wrote a song in Deuteronomy chapter 32. He says this in verse 4. He says, He is a rock. His deeds are perfect. Everything he does is just and fair. He is a faithful God who does no wrong. How just and upright he is. Guys, I couldn't say it any better if I wanted to. God is faithful. He is just. He is true. He always is. He's never been anything else. It's completely against his character to be anything else. That's why when God created the universe, he gets to define what is right and true. And the inherent problem is, is that we as humans have come in and we basically come and said, God... There's some things you got wrong. And let me tell you, God, what the right thing to do is. What, what is true, what is just. And we've come up with this idea. And when we disagree with God, simple fact is we're wrong. I've had to adjust myself several times, <laughs> countless times, um, from what I felt was right to what God says is right. And so... That's what we're going with today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where it, this process shows up. It's in the book of Romans. All right, here we go. Romans chapter 9, verse 20. It says this, Who are you, a mere human being, to argue with God? Should the thing that was created say to the one who created it, why have you made me like this? When a potter makes jars out of clay, doesn't he have a right to use the same lump of clay to make one jar for decoration and another to throw garbage into? It's right here, guys. Guys, we have this habit of coming to God and saying, no, 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 what you did was wrong. And it's his universe. He made it. He's the one who designed the atom. He's the one who came up with the idea for humanity, for consciousness and everything, guys. It's his creation. It's his rules. And he's right for making it this way. So, we need to adjust our lives to him every single time. That's what I had for you today. I hope this helps your week get better and get you on the right foot. Remember that I love you. I'll see you next time.